Honestly, when I realize that I can do that project, I get pretty excited about it. I was keen to do that particular project for a long time. I've been a mural artist for more than a decade now, but I never had the opportunity to do one as good as this one. It is a photography made by Warren Killen. He's a photographer, mm, extremely focused on the ocean. And um, I admire him for, for his passion for the ocean and also for him being like so determined to keep the integrity of the creation. I'm also very nature directed in my work, or at least for the last 10 plus years, I've been always trying to convince my customers or like offer a, um, ideas that involve nature or are mainly based on nature. So most of the times it works because nature is pretty and is one of the best subjects for murals. Either way, when I saw this wave, like this particular picture, because Warren Killen has lots of lots of waves. I don't know if he has something else besides waves. Actually, he's like specialized in that. But when I saw this one, it was like so bright and so powerful and so memorizable. I thought, wow. But no doubt, all the credit deserves Jehovah God, the creator. I mean, we imitate, we are artists. We chase, maybe the photographers chase particular conditions in the nature. Uh, maybe we artists, we research or take pictures too and use our imagination. But everything, all the resources we have, they're borrowed from everything that has been ever created. We, we imitate, we're imitators. So I have that particular viewpoint for myself, not a creator, I'm an imitator. And I'm happy with this. I photoshopped it on the background of that kind of dream environment, like a relaxing bedroom. And uh, I set it as a channel art for, for my YouTube channel. So this customer saw the, the picture and he was willing to have it at home. When I heard that, I was super keen of doing it. And I was keen because besides him willing that particular wave exactly as I made it, he was gonna place, he was going to position his bedroom the same way I did the channel art. So even the side tables, yeah, was positioned the same way as in the picture, approximately, about the same way. There is a reason that I placed the seagulls exactly there. First, first one is, as you can see, was projected to be right here in front of the wave. 
it kind of gives perspective when you see an object in front of another object it, it creates space so it was necessary for the landscape a seagull I think exactly somewhere uh, overlapping the, the wave and once I was ready with this one I needed to make the second one but the the idea behind the second seagull was like uh, this landscape coming from from right to left is fading into the background color of the wall so now towards the end of the mural there is just one just this seagull that is flying away The room is like a it's like a mix of this sea landscape and then when you turn the other side of the room goes underwater and then you have the coral reef and then you have the sea turtle and the colorful fishes but this will be a subject of another video however it's part of the same room but it's like it was massive a project I, I used to work I worked at it for like uh, how much for two two weeks three, I think. two or three weeks yeah because some of the reef elements was really detailed but it was a lot of fun and it, it was dream coming true so that's about it other questions